on this episode of The Human Edge. In a Chicago, Illinois hospital, surgeons prepare to make history. They're implanting a tiny silicon chip, the thickness of a human hair on the retina of a blind person. Soon, for the first time, unsighted people may see through a bionic eye. Welcome to The Human Edge. I'm Steve Truitt. And I'm Sharon Tay. And this is your connection to the people and the technology that changes the way we live today and into tomorrow. The idea started in science fiction. Implanting computer chips into the body and wiring them to the nervous system. But now The Human Edge is turning these astounding and sometimes cheesy tales of bionic men into world-changing technology. Sight, for the majority of people, is the sense that informs us most about our world. For all its wonder, sight is also a biological and mechanical process that can break down. Through disease or injury, a sighted person can find their world fading to black. But the human edge is fighting to push back the shadows of blindness. In a Chicago, Illinois hospital, surgeons prepare to make history. They're implanting a tiny silicon chip, the thickness of a human hair on the retina of a blind person. If everything turns out as hoped, devices like this will return vision to the blind. The man leading the team of doctors, ophthalmologist Dr. Alan Chow. C-H-O-W. He and brother Vincent, an electrical engineer, invented the chip. The purpose of this chip is when it's placed underneath the retina, the electric current produced by these miniature solar cells stimulate the remaining uh, still functional cells of the, of the retina to produce signals. When light enters the eye of a sighted person, it falls on the retina. The retina is like a grid of solar panels, millions of them. When light hits the front, electricity comes out of the wires in the back. These signals whiz up the optic nerve to the brain, producing vision. But for people with retinal diseases, the leading cause of blindness in the industrial world, these solar cells stop working. Chow's invention functions as an artificial retina embedded on a wafer just two millimeters wide are 5,000 solar cells. The impulses they make stimulate nerve cells. If they work, the electronic retinas will allow patients to see rough forms in black and white. Well, our hope is that these patients will recover some functional vision. In other words, vision to maybe see light, to see objects, perhaps to even walk around the house. This initial surgery was not intended to create functional vision, but to see if the chips would be rejected by the body. They were not. Having scored this success, doctors will soon implant chips to produce vision. And for the first time, humans may see through a bionic eye. <laughs> 